Welcome back everyone to Hossa Cards for this week's episode of Monday Mail Day on a Friday. As always, never actually on a Monday here, just cause. Plenty of ground to cover as always, so I'm diving right on in as always. Here we go! First up, I've got a package from Panini. Uh, I think this was a redemption for 150 points, so I loaded up on some cheap Cleveland cards, I'm sure. And as always, it does cost $5.94. To ship out to you no matter the number of cards you select hopefully one day panini can make it free it is what it is right now in 2020 though let's see what i got this round i think that is everything yep three cards so there we go first up cleveland cav great spencer hawes blue spectra very nice not numbered oh it is these are always numbered it's so tough to tell 11 out of 65, 2013-14 Panini Spectra. Yeah, Spencer Hawes did not play very long on the Cavs, but I couldn't pass this up. It was only 50 points. Super thick card. Very cool. I don't have many Spencer Hawes cards at all. We'll put them on up top. Next up, another Cleveland great, Brandon Whedon. <laughs> national Treasures card. Awesome pickup. I love these National Treasures. Uh, Brandon Whedon, I think, played three years, former first-round pick. And this one is 66 out of 99. Liking that number in a lot. Very cool. Put Brandon on up top. And finally, it's another Whedon. It's a Whedon pack. <laughs> Crown Royale patch from... Yeah, Crown Royale. <laughs> uh, this is number 179 out of 299. Uh, 2012 Panini Crown Royale. Very nice. I think this was his rookie year. I don't see rookie, though. Maybe it was 2011. I'm sure I'll add that during editing. Doesn't say it, rookie. Pretty cool patch. My Brandon Whedon collection is growing as I continue to get these Panini points. Very nice. All right, next up, I've got the first of two eBay pickups. I'm guessing this is a TTM pickup, or a TTM fuel pickup, or maybe it's a holiday card somehow addressed to Hasa Cards. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, thank you, Ken. Okay. Oh, man, this one came out a little, but it's all good. Actually makes it kind of easy. There we go. Get out of here. It is Jim Mudcat Grant. I recently got another card of his, and I wanted to get one of his older cards. I think this is 63. Yep, 63. Super cheap. As you can see, someone decided to uh, mark up the back with some sort of tallies. I want to say this was like a dollar fifty or $2 shipped. Can't beat it. Absolutely love me some Jim Mudcat Grant, especially on his Cleveland Indians days. So that will be sent to him sometime in the near future. It's going to be a sweet return. All right, next up, I've got the second of two eBay pickups. And this one's a little larger. I think it is another addition to my Project 2020 Ermsey collection. I'm currently at 6 of 20. So this, yep, so this will put me over one-third of the way to completion. Let's see who I got this time. Nice! Teddy ball game, Mr. Ted Williams, and this is the lowest number edition I think I've seen to date. As you can see, it's very Ermsy <laughs> with the swirls. Don't know what's going on as always. I like how he's writing his own name on his own card. That's really cool. And the Bo old school Boston Red Sox looks phenomenal. Number 58. So this is getting pretty low. Uh, after this, I think it's just Ichiro and Mike Trout, and those two are just insanely expensive, so this is probably as low as I'm going to go for a while. It's typical Ermsey, though. Can't go wrong with Teddy Ballgame. Love that pickup. Let's see if I can get it out of the glare. That's awesome. All right, now on to the good stuff. Starting off today is a care package from my buddy and fellow Fantasy Rip League participant, Mr. JPN Sports Cards. Uh, I, Jason and I have been buddies for a while now. We have very similar tastes in cards, especially with throwbacks, and he's been opening some football throwbacks lately uh, that I just absolutely loved, and I just I had to pick them up myself. Uh, we've been sending PC cards back and forth for a little while. Let's see what he sent today without bumping my camera. <laughs> this box is a little large for my setup, but it's all good. It's got some packing stuff in there. Very nice blue painter tape, buddy. 
I'm gonna open this off camera. I'll be right back. And here we go. Jason loaded these up and check out these packs. He sent three 97 collector's choice packs. Dude, you did not have to do that. I love collector's choice. We will definitely rip into that. Let's see what he sent in these packs first. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Absolutely love collector's choice. I think it's not a, a secret at this point. I just love it. It looks great with signatures. Leroy Horde starting us off. 91 Ultra. Thane Gash. Oh yeah, he ripped this. This was a this was a lot of fun. I am gonna rip this myself here coming up. It's another kid reporter in the back. Mike Johnson, another Thane Gash. Brian Brennan, very cool. I think I just sent to him actually. Mike Johnson, Clay Matthews Sr. Reggie Langhorn, very cool. I sent to him lately. David and Joku. Now we're getting to the more modern stuff at a 2019 prestige. Mac Wilson, Mac Attack at linebacker. Very nice from Absolute. OBJ, hopefully he is healing up. Jarvis, Jarvis Landry from Score. Clubber Lane just got put on the COVID list this week. He will be out. That is a big bummer. That's a big ding to our uh, pass rush right there. Another Clubber Lane. Baker, nice, out of Score. Another Baker out of Prestige. Another Baker out of Prestige. Another Baker out of Donruss. <laughs> oh, nice, man. And this one's numbered 64 out of 100 out of 2014 Prestige. I think it's a blue or purple extra point. Ben Tate. Tate only played like half a season for us. I'm shocked he even has a card. But that is awesome, man. Appreciate it very much, Jason. That is awesome, dude. That is a great package of Browns. Next one up. Let's keep it moving. So maybe he separated them by sport. I don't know. Good job covering up the cards. So I am left in the dark. Oh, nice. You got some stickers on the back. I was about to launch it. <laughs> yeah, that was another kid reporter. Good thing I didn't. Alex Cole. Nice. Former leadoff man for my Indians. Julio Franco. Still could play today. Brad Havens. I actually don't remember him. Out of, what, 89 tops, I believe? Yep. Oh, man. Pinnacle. Sandy. What is going on there? <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. Uh, 93 Pinnacle. Neon Dion James. Nice. I just sent to him maybe a month ago. Now I have some more for him. Carlos Martinez out of Donruss. Alan Embry, former reliever. Liked him a lot. Alan Embry again. I think he was traded to the Braves back in the day. Brian Giles. Very nice. He was very underrated back in the day. Cleveland Indians team card. Zach Plezak out of Heritage. Jake Bowers should see some playing time in 2021. Oscar Merck, Mercado. Logan Allen out of Chrome. Carlos Santana out of Archives. Oh, nice, dude. Uh, Sepia, Aaron Savali, rookie. Very nice. He's super underrated as well. Green Parallel of Jose out of Gypsy Queen. Green Frankie Lindor and a Clevenger. I think these are called Flame Parallels. Very nice. Tragic news on Clev for 2021. He will be out for the season after Tommy John. Hopefully he heals up and is back to normal in no time. Thanks again, Jason. Let's see what we've got in these collector's choice packs, dude. I have not ripped any 97. Man, I love collector's choice, so I cannot stress that enough. Oh, it's going to be right on top. There we go. Let's see if there's any kind of brick. Not at all. Very nice. No bricking at all. These sometimes stick. Rod Myers for your Kansas City Royals, dude. Very nice. Oh, we're going this way now. <laughs> Check that out. The big show. Very nice A-Rod back in the day for the Mariners. These cards are flipped all over. What is going on? <laughs> Another big show. Todd Hollinsworth. Wow, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Former Rookie of the Year. Kevin Brown, All-Star for the Marlins. Oh, there we go. They do stick just a little bit sometimes. But they never really tear, so it's really cool. Uh, Tim Belcher. I definitely remember him. He played for like 30 teams. There he is on the Royals. Mike Hampton just disappeared when he went to the Rockies, unfortunately. Wilson Alvarez. Very nice. I was actually looking for more cards of his. He signs through the mail. Flipping around. Have a rookie card of Scott Rowland. That is pretty awesome. Not bad at all. Flipping back around. Bob Wolcott. Okay, for the Mariners. And there we have a slamming Sammy Sosa back in his cubby days. Very nice, man. Pack number two, keeping it moving. As always, man, cannot stress enough how much I love this series. And check this one out. Rookie card of Andrew Jones. Very nice. So the rookie cards are just crushing it here. And we're flipping back around. The big show, this must have been the insert for 97. The ageless one, shout out to Intercontinental card, Tony Gwynn. Man, that's nice. Loving these parallels or inserts or whatever they are. And there's another nice one. The kid, Ken Griffey Jr., 
We will definitely be seeing him again later on in this episode. Wink, wink. Here we go. Mark Lewis, former Indian. There he is on the Tigers. I always wondered where he went afterwards. Derek Bell, nice part of the Killer Bees back in the day for the Astros. Devin White, former leadoff, great. There he is on the Marlins. Must have been towards the end of his career. Al Leiter, also for the Marlins. Here's another rookie, Wendell McGee. Do not remember Wendell. Uh, flipping around again. Oh, I thought that was Jeets. 1996 postseason celebration. Bernie Williams, another super underrated player. And wrapping it up, Mo Vaughn, former MVP winner for the Red Sox. Last pack, collector's choice. It's been fun. Love it. Absolutely love Clicker's Choice. Thanks again, Jason, for sending this my way, dude. I'm sure at some point I will open a box of this for sure. Bob Abreu rookie debut. Okay. <laughs> Flipping around for the big show stuff. Barry Bonds. There he is. A little uh, pre-PED days card right there. Flipping back around. Who do we got on the second one? Jay Buhner. One of the greatest trades ever by the Yanks right there. <laughs> Flipping back around. Bobby Higginson, man, he used to crush the Indians pitching for the Tigers. Todd Jones, former closer for the Astros. A lot of Marlins in here. Edgar Renneria, ugh. But there is his rookie card. He had a pivotal role in the World Series win against my Indians. Jeff Conine, another underrated. And check this piece he hit out. It's a sticker of my boy Kenny Lofton. That is awesome. Jim Lairitz and John Wetland celebration card. And a final card of Jackie Robinson. That's pretty cool. I don't remember him being in these. Uh, it's a 1947 tribute, the 50th anniversary. Very cool, man. Jason, thank you so much, man. Everyone, make sure you go check out JPN Sports Cards. His YouTube link will be in the description box below. Great guy. Great member of the community. Go show him some love, everyone. All right, and before I move on to the final care package, you guessed it. It's wheel time. <laughs> I've got my daughter's iPad ready to go. Uh, time to find out the winner of last week's Monday Mail Day episode giveaway. It's going to be this Project 2020 card of the Big Hurt Frank Thomas by Fucci, number 96. Really enjoyed reading everyone's favorite superhero movie responses last week. Comics and comic book movies have always been a close second place to sports for me. Since I was a kid, basically. So it was really fun to see everyone's top three movies. Okay, enough talking. We'll do it. No sound this time. All right, never know. <laughs> and the winner this time is going to be... Nice, Nikolai. Very cool. <laughs> My brother from Denmark. Dude, I already think I already have your address? I don't think so, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'll reach out to you on Instagram, dude. Uh, you are the winner of this Big Hurt Mr. Frank Thomas Project 2020 card by Fucci. Very cool, dude. He actually sent me a mug of the Cleveland Cavs on last week's uh, Monday Mail Day on a Friday episode. Very fitting that he gets this. Congrats, Nikolai. I'll send this out to you shortly, buddy. All right, last but definitely not least, I have a final care package from fellow tuber, Mr. Pete's Junk Treasure. Uh, Pete is a baseball card set builder extraordinaire and really enjoys the Junk Wax era, which is also a huge favorite of mine. He recently reached out and said he had some cards he thought I'd enjoy, so let's dive right in and see what he sent today. If I can figure out how to get this open. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hitting the camera. Look out. Got a note here. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to get all these packing peanuts out. Oh, he sent a pack too. Stickers. Very nice, Pete. Appreciate that, buddy. Let's get that one out. Oh, man, Pete. Loaded it up, brother. Holy cow. Uh-oh. Packing peanuts are out. Got some fleer in here. Holy cow. Wow. He did not have to do all this, man. Holy cow. Okay, there we go. Gonna launch your box. I think I got everything. Let's take a look at the note first. Thanks, Haas, for your support, your entertaining videos, your help and comments, and most importantly, your presence in the collecting world. It is definitely a special place with you in it. Enjoy everything in here. TTM, right? Pete, enjoy the special card at the end. Thank you very much, Pete. It is a very great community, brother. I enjoy having you in it as well. That is the last card, apparently. Sent some cards, some packs. Let's look at the cards first. Here we go. <laughs> 
Got some cards here. I see Mike Avila starting us off here at a Heritage. What year is that? 2016. I have never opened that. So that is very nice, dude. Buddy Bell. Man, I wish that guy signed. Jim Bibby. True story. I actually used to somewhat know him. I lived in the same town as him for about 10 years. RIP, sir. Great pitcher and just a great member of the community. Roberto Perez. Jose Ramirez for Big League, Mike Clef Clevenger, Russ Brannion. Man, good times with Russ Brannion. He was going to be the next big thing and just never quite did it. Uh, it's Cleveland Browns score huddle up team card. Nick Chubb, my boy. Absolutely love me some Nick Chubb. Olivier Vernon, nice. He's going to need to step up this week because this guy's going to be out. Miles Garrett, nice Nick Chubb patch card, dude, at a score rise up. Very cool, man. Very nice. And he put Go Blue on this one. <laughs> That's right. He's a big Michigan fan. I think these are some, uh, these must be some Ohio State cards of his. Let me see if I can get a sticker up. There we go. <laughs> there. Come on. Oh, there we go. And we have some. Oh, nice, dude. Joey B on Ohio State. Chase Young and Jeff Okuda, all first round picks. I think all top five picks, too, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Very nice, man. You did not have to send those at all. They will be staying with me forever. There we go. Nick Chubb to the front because he's my boy. I will put those right there. Thank you very much, Pete. Next up, second package. Looks like we've got my favorite former player of all time, Albert Bell. Out of 92. Yep, 92 upper deck. Sandy Almar. Look at that. That is a phenomenal shot out of 89. Or 90. 90 tops. Another one of my boy, Albert Bell. 90 upper deck. OP Cheed. Very cool. I don't have any of these so far. This is an interesting card. EXL Sandy Alomar. It reminds me of Diamond Kings almost. Very interesting card. I have never heard of this brand. I will have to look into them for sure. Very nice, Pete. Sandy Alomar, 95 Pacific. Definitely remember that series. Aaron Savali at a stadium club. Coco. Coco Crisp. Uh, for my Indians, as always. Fleer Tradition, I believe. Very nice. These are phenomenal looking cards. Terrence West. Uh, I used to like Terrence quite a bit. Out of score, Andre Risen action pack, Charlie Fry gridiron gear. I'm going to open that next week, I think, just a different year. Braylon, out of SP Authentic, Tim Couch, very nice. Donruss, elite, primary colors, and that one's numbered. 687 out of 950. Very nice, Pete. Very cool. Clay Matthews at a pro set. Ernest Biner, very classic, 1,000-yard club. And Mr. Bernie Kozar, 86 tops. I don't know if this is his rookie card or not. It could be. Either that or it's his first or second year card. But very cool, Pete. I'm going to leave that one on top for sure. And let's see what he sent as the last card. Save this card for last. It is Mark Price Autograph. Dude, you got this TTM. I have been waiting for Mark Price to send back to me for like six months. <laughs> awesome pickup, Pete. You did not have to send this. this is my third Mark Price Auto now. This is at a 93.94 Skybox. Thank you very much, Pete. That was awesome, brother. You did not have to do that. I know I say that all the time. But you truly don't. All right, here we go. Let's look at these packs. Looks like we got some stickers going on in here. I have opened some of these for football and basketball so far. And this is my first time for baseball. 2019 stickers. Let's see what we got. Matt Olson. It looks like they have more cards in these, too. That or they're just larger stickers. Oh, and there's more people on the back. And Jose Abreu, the MVP winner. Very nice. Mookie Betts. And then we have on the back Hunter Renfro. Nice. Uh, Red Sox win the title. And then on the back is Tim Beckham. Wow. Aaron Sanchez for the Blue Jays. And Co hey, there we go. Cookie Carrasco. Another PC hit. Very cool. Next pack of the stickers. Keeping it moving. Let's see what we got on this. I see another Cleveland Indian. Looks like Slam Tana. And it is. Very nice. Carlos Slam Tana. Followed by, oh, there are some stickers. J.D. Martinez and Whit Merrifield. Cool that there are two on that one. Chris Taylor, now World Series champ, and Glaber, followed by Mike Trout. Very nice. And on the other side is Jonathan Villar. Very interesting pairing there. Freddie Freeman, now the MVP of the NL. And there's another Carlos. <laughs> and finally, DJ LeMahieu and Eugenio Suarez for the Reds. Put those on over here. Let's take a look at 1990 Fleer. Here's some TTM material for sure. I think that's what he meant on his note. <laughs> Let's take a look. I have not opened this on the channel. Starting us off with a red sticker. And yeah, these will look very nice with autos, I think. Jim Traber, Craig Biggio. Is that his rookie card? 
No, 89 is. That's right. Dave Henderson, the lesser known of the Hendersons. Eric King for the White Sox. Jack Armstrong for the Reds. Larry Walker. Look how young he looks in that for the Expos. Wow. I think that is his rookie card. We'll have to put that one on down there. Dave Val. Very nice. Ernest Riles for the Giants. Checklist. Jeff King for the Pirates. Billy Swift. He definitely signs through the mail. Nice wizard pickup for the Cardinals. Nick Esaski? Nope, no idea for the... <laughs> Rhino, very nice. I will definitely send that off to him for sure. Nice TTM fuel here. And finishing us up is Dave Parker for the A's. Pete, thank you very much for that package, dude. You did not have to send all that. I know I keep saying that, and I said I wouldn't, but I am. <laughs> Go check out Pete's Junk Treasure. His YouTube link will be linked in the description box below. Again, just another phenomenal member of the community. Great member, great stuff on YouTube. Go check him out and show him some love, everyone. Go do it. All right, and before I close things out, it is this week's opportunity for yet another Project 2020 giveaway, which I'll reveal the winner of in next week's Monday Mail Day on a probably Friday episode. The winner next week will receive this card of the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. by Don C, number 116, a.k.a. the other Shore Griffey. Very unique card. I haven't seen any other Beach Project 2020 cards, so here's your chance at a free one. As always, you must be a subscriber of the channel in order to enter, and for this week, in the comments below, we're finally back to a sports question. The NBA draft just went down this week, so who do you have winning the NBA Rookie of the Year for 2021? I'm a homer. I know what I am, so I'm going to go with my boy, Isaac Okoro. Uh, he's getting comparisons to a young Jimmy Buckets, and that's pretty cool. Okay, tell me who you've got in the comments below, and one lucky winner will get this Kid Project 2020 card. Good luck, everyone. All right, that's going to wrap up today's episode of Monday Mail Day on a Friday with a Panini Points Redemption, two eBay pickups, and two care packages. Awesome stuff as always on mail days. Again, make sure you go check out JPN Sports Cards and Pete's Junk Treasure. Phenomenal members of the community. Their links, again, will be in the description box below. Thank you guys again for all the Cleveland cards, for the loose packs, the collector's choice, the TTM fuel. You guys are just awesome. Thank you guys so much. Love the haul. Love these pickups. Monday mail days on a Friday, always one of my favorites. And as always, sincerely hope each and every one of you is staying safe and healthy wherever you may be. Take care. See you all next time. Yeah.